Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Executioner. So we've turned, well, I've turned our vassals loose. They're, they're going to go all out. And the only concern we have right now is the Asurai. They declared war. I just don't know if I want to pay the 10 grand. That I'm, I'm not too keen on doing right now. So I need to pay attention to Ortizia. They've got like 850 defenders. So it's going to take them a while to siege. They got full food. They're good. So what I'm thinking I should do is, is if they're taking that castle, I should probably take this castle. And what I'm thinking is we push from the north. If we push from the north down to the south, that'll take us down towards Aserai. Which, of course, at about that time is when Sturgeon will declare war on me and I'll have to deal with them. Since it seems like that's what's going to end up happening. Also because... We're getting to the point where my vassals are going to want to declare war. So I think that's the smart move right now. Even though I would like to take this castle just to get these villages. I think this is the smarter move. We just have to watch the area because these are freshly taken. And you can see they've only got, you know, 370 defenders. So I think I'm going to go to that castle. We got guys ready to go. Unfortunately, though, they're mostly Vlandian. Uh, that's kind of the big issue. Um, a lot of these guys are Vlandian. Um, the, I honestly can't remember a lot of them now. The Wainwright is the Grizzled. Oh, geez, what's his name? That's the problem with changing the names. Down a lift. All right, Black Tooth. All right, he's my only. Um, wait a minute, did we vote on this? Yeah. What? Why is it showing him as a a wanderer? Arendelle Black Tooth. Oh, he's all the way at Bolticon, though. I can't get him. Oh, well, we'll have to deal with it. All right, let's go get hit this castle. We'll have to watch out for them. They're, I almost want to head over there. I get worried about them. You know, the enemy coming over there. Wanting, ah, uh, there we go, Volstrom. They obviously have to be hit, hitting that full. Oh, geez. I should pay it. I should pay it. That's what I should do. They're going to run wild. We can't be fighting wars on opposite ends. Unless I left everybody here to fight an offensive war here. And I were to go here. Which I've done before. But I would rather just run through this area... I'm going to have to end up paying them. I I have to do it. That'll stop that. And let's just try to get through as much of this as we can. Uh, as soon as they declare war, I'm going to have to go over there. I'm going to have to go down there and defend that territory. I'll leave my vassals up here. I have them on offensive already. 252 troops. Um, boy, that, that's that's right on the verge of whether or not I want to RTS it. Just I, I can't. I don't want to lose these. They're gonna 
I can't have the Asurai running wild. We gotta push as much as we can and get as much as we can done is what I have to do. But the quicker you push, the, the more feats you're gonna have that are gonna be defenseless. If you take like 30 days to peace out with everybody, then it gives time to build up. Here comes the army, which it doesn't scare me one bit. And they are not actually going to me. They're traveling nice and slow. They are going to go towards my other army. There's another army running around. Yeah, they're going over there. They're going over to help them. Perfect. Not perfect. Oh, come on. Alright, so we should go take care of this right now. I already know what to do. We're going to RTS this, and then I'm going to back off, and the Blandians are going to be stupid. They're going to be absolutely ignorant, and they're going to try to siege this. And then I'm going to step in, I'm going to take them hostage, and I'm going to execute them. That's exactly what's going to happen. There they go again, hitting me. Leave me alone. We'll, t we'll handle this easily. So that, that 600 man army is going to walk over here and try to siege it. And I'm going to take four or five of their lords captive and, and execute them. And I might actually peace out with the Valandians. If they pay enough, that would give me an opportunity to go down and lay waste to the Asurai. But if I... I'm trying to think, because they all they have Onira and, and Denostica. However, if I don't take Onira and Denostica, if I start from the opposite side and start taking Quias, Asgar, Sanala, push them that way, that keeps me on my half of the map. I think that's actually a smarter way to go. I might try to push and take, um, like, Praven and o Ox Hall to the north. We'll take Revol, Ostakin, and we'll take that to the north, which will leave them just with the ones to the, the fort of the south. Um, Sargot, um, Charis, Galland, and then peace out with them for the money. And then I can go ahead and I could declare war on the Asurai. That would be interesting. Oh, we're going to take the Highborns. Uh, I don't have enough. All right, I'm going to take them for the moment. And see if any of my guys need troops. I have a... I, I don't know. They might need some troops, so we'll see. Yep. Good call. Excellent call on my part. Recruit all. You need troops. I'm going to have to give away good troops to do it, though. I'm already under the limit. Okay, so let's go to Manage Castle. Uh, obviously, how long on the fairgrounds? I can't, 0%. Uh, I would rather go with this first. 
then that, and that. And then I want to go back to that. So we're going to get out of here. Actually, a uh, dungeon. Nope, nobody in the dungeon. All right, let's get out of here. They're going to siege it back. Right now. Oh, 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 uh oh. We could, uh, we could actually catch him. Oh, yes. Two, four, five lords. Now we get ourselves a battle. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Uh, they're, I don't think they're going to want to come after us. But I do like this high ground, though. Footman, move! Archer, move! Mounted, move! Soldiers, forward! I hit you. Hit you again. I got your mount. Yeah, they're not going to move. That's fine. I'll live with that. Infantry, move! Archers, move! Troops, forward! Mounted archer, forward! Infantry! Make a shield wall! Yeesh. far away uh we're still a little bit out of the range no we're not 130 meters that's good yeah i was way short on that one coming in here soon. Yep, there go the cavalry. Look at him get wasted. I can't see my horse archers. Where are my horse archers? Oh, they're horse way archer. over there. Yeah, you got wrecked. 153 damage. I see him over there. I'm looking. I don't see any targets. Yeah, they got wasted. There's one. Right there. Get out of the freaking way. about it. So finish them off. We lose hardly nothing. Superior numbers, superior tiers, decent battle tactics, we'll say decent.
Not great, decent. And there you go. Come on. Voila. <laughs> 22 guys. And now we got ourselves some prisoners. Oh, Baron, you little youngster, you. You poor thing. Um. Wow. We got troops galore. I'm not going to end up taking a lot because I figure my companions are going to get a bunch of troops as well. Oh my god, elite, 12 elite cataphracts. 14 elite. Oh, this would have been my, um, my vassals. The ones that probably got defeated. Alright, we're, we're going to take these for now. I'm almost over my limit, so I don't want to take any anything else. I'm sure they're going to be close to their limit. Yeah, they're close, but they're not there. I think I'm under my limit, aren't I already? Yeah, I'm already way under my limit. All right, you guys got anybody? All right, you got one. All right, let's get this done. Okay, um, can't get rid of everybody because we got miners. Their clan gone? Yep, their clan's gone. And uh, we can't do the minor clans. Your clan's gone. All right, so we took care of them. Uh, I'd like to get these two castles. Um, I don't know if they're going to take those two castles or not. Beautiful. Oh, go to the castle. See, they're traveling slow because of the food problem. Um, I'll take it for now. I'm going to end up catching them. That's the food issue. Yeah. It kind of sucks. So I'm just going to send everybody. kind of sad they don't have it fixed. I don't have the mod either for it. Well, I actually do have the mod for it. But I don't have it installed. But I do have the mod. I have it on a different campaign. left. Roots, charge! Go get them. I mean, hello. They're just standing there. Kurgit. 
Uh, I don't know why I didn't take troops. Um. All right, they're taking that. So why don't I take this? I need... Is this a Blandian? Oh, this is a Blandian. I should almost give these away. The thing I'm getting most worried about is right now I can still control my vassals. It only costs me about 500 to override all of them. Yeah. If I get about five more, then we're going to start looking at possibly a thousand to override them. So I want to be exceptionally careful about that. Because they're going to want to start declaring war. Oh, this is going to be a nice one. 440. Right now, they're not going after anything important. Yeah, you escaped from my party. I'm wondering if I should tear down the walls. If I tore down the walls, I could get through this quick. And I hold the choke point here. They wouldn't be able to get through. That's an idea. New owner of that castle. Can't click on them. Oh, kingdom decisions. Can't do kingdom decisions while in a siege. Yeah, I'm trying to wonder, do I want to break down the walls? It'll be, it's super quick. Four hundred forty troops, so if I break the walls, it's going to go much easier. Which I can do that. Here goes one. That's it. Walls are broken. Alright. Move to reserve. Reserve. Lead assault. And just send everybody in. I, I don't really need to do anything. We're going to take probably less than 50 casualties. By breaking the walls. And I want to move everybody up super close. But I do want to get my archers up here. Ah, jeez. Run right into that. Okay, archers are going to go here. Move Archer. Move. Here we go. Trying to look at those archers. I'm looking at those archers up on the walls. We're just pushing them so bad. I want to get rid of these archers. There they are. Feels like that's almost it. Got 
Gotcha. Ooh, just missed them. That's basically it. I, I don't see how we're going to lose anything less than 50 soldiers. And I don't know how long it takes to build the walls back up, but by me owning the choke point to this, they're going to have to go all the way around to get to this place before the walls can get, before they can attack with the walls not being rebuilt. 38. Oh, now there's going to be a bunch to do. All right, so. Are you doing a granary? That's fine. And then we'll go to a fairgrounds. Actually, let's redo this. To the fairgrounds. Give him some money. Off to there. Good. Leave. They're sieging that, okay? I'm gonna have to go back and help them. I want to give that castle away to um, a Vlandian. Look out. How do you not run? I, I don't get it. How do you not run? Come on. Stay close. Infantry, move. Forward! And then my archers or my uh, horse archers here. Oh, he got away. That was a nice one. All right, where are they? Yeah, they're gonna hide behind anything, which is obvious. It's a natural tactic. This I want to be a little bit careful with. Because we, we do we could lose some here. I mean they do have two hundred troops. I got wrecked. Hundred nineteen piercing damage. But that's the AI. They they're so much more accurate than you are. They know exactly when to attack. I was still careful about it though, as far as my army was concerned. I'm going to lose hardly, I mean, five, what, 10 troops? 13. But only two dead. And we do have an execution. 
I want to keep pushing, though. I don't want to stop pushing. I want to keep going, but I do need to give this stuff away. They're both minor clans. Okay, so that castle... I want to give to a Valandian. I mean, I'm, I'm basically going all in right now. Is what I'm doing. Because I've got three castles to give away. This one is a Valandian. Which it should be. Yeah, it's a Valandian. So, which one of my Valandians is ready to go? The Loud? Now let's double check. Who's ready to go? I guess we could. Loud. Dead Eye Hills. No, Edgar can't go. Um, let's give it to. Wait a minute, the Wainwright isn't Blandian. Uh, let's just give it. Let's just give it to a uh, Benton of the Hills. Even though I think the Loud is good, let's just give it to the Hills. Wait a minute. Is the hills my scout? He is. He can't go. He should be Vlandian. Yeah, let's just give it to him. What the heck? I'm not just going to mess with it. Uh, so that is Kel's Castle. That one. Right, done. <sighs> Who is? He's Valandian. But who do we give this to now? Everybody's Valandian. Look at this. We got these two castles to give away. Castles don't matter. The reason why I was saving the Valandians are for the towns. You know what? I think I'm just gonna hold them for right now. I'm gonna hold those two castles. I've got I've got these right here. And I don't need to worry. So let's get over here real quick. I would like to take this. Make sure they're not gonna get through. This is how they're gonna get through. So now I got options. We still got all this, but do I take these two and then push and take this? I got three guys ready to go. So what I could do is I could take these two and push Revolt, Ostic, and give them to. Of Landian. And then I think Ox Hall is going to be easier to take than Praven. I could take Ox Hall and maybe the castle. Well, but Ox Hall at least. That would be those three guys and peace out. Since my peace out right now is receiving 2100. But if I go here, that could open this up. 
So why don't we actually take this first? But if I take this first, that's going to open this up to a siege. But it would open this up to a siege instead of this. I would know what they're going after. Ah, uh, yeah. This is like our absolute choke point right here. Alright, that, that's a much better idea. But with this, I don't really want to tear down the walls. This needs to be as secure as possible. Although, I gotta be careful. Now I'm starting to get too many peeps. Where I might not be the one getting voted on. But I don't have any... I don't have anybody else to take a peep. I mean, I could let my other people go that I have right now. You know, like the alone. But I can't execute them. Or I'm going to lose too much relation with her. So I don't have companions to go. So I think we're going to have to take this normally. I don't want to break the walls. Unless I sit here. I could just sit here and see how long the walls take to rebuild. Which I don't think we've ever figured out. That's an idea too. But I could get pulled away. It's already done. It's already done and ready to siege. I don't have the siege equipment though. Uh, there's, we still don't have a ram up. Now I could go if I wanted to. not want to really break those walls. And these are all Vlandian, aren't they? Well, the Falcon isn't. I could give one of them to the Falcon. Can I do that now? I can. Why don't I do that right now? Give away one of the castles. Uh, which one is the furthest away? Which one is... I can't see which one it is. I hate it when you can't see. I can't see which one. That one back there. <sighs> Damn it. That sucks. I want to get rid of that one that's further back. And I don't remember which one that is. But I would like to actually give it to the Falcon. We're not going for Atsurai right now. Uh, wait a minute. Before I do this. Alright, he's not, he's not honorable. Okay. I just had to double check. But let's give it to him. Why doesn't the dead eye have a shield? What was I doing? I don't know why he didn't have a shield. All right, so let's give it to the... Let's see if I can try to remember which one it is by looking at the list. So let's reward him and see if I can remember which one. I think it's that one. See if I'm right. Okay. So that gets one off my back. All these guys are, are Vlandian. Which they're saved for the three towns. Which is going to be Revolt, Ostakin, and probably Oxhall. 
And now I'm thinking we should just take this. We're going to lead the assault. Yep, we're going to take it just like this. I don't want to tear down the walls. With this great of a choke point, even though it wouldn't make it that much of a difference, because we could sit here, I don't know how long it takes to get the walls back. Is it a week? Two weeks? I have no clue. I can't see because I keep getting pushed. Nice headshot, 172 damage. That's a beautiful headshot. Ooh, that looks good. Where are they all at? Oh, he moved. But I can't tell if I'm too high or too low. I think I'm too high. I think I'm going over his head. That was the last. Alright, let's see if we can get these guys. That's a little bit low. I'm trying to get these guys right there. I'm just hitting shields. Yeah, I'm not hitting his shields. I need to get on an angle if I want to hit him. Let me get over here with these guys. See if I can get a better angle right here. I don't think so. Archers. Yep. God, why is that so far off? Look at that. Wow. I'm not hitting anything. Why am I not hitting anything? Look at that. Nothing. I'm out. But what I don't like about this. Yeah, you're causing an issue. Get moving. And what I really don't like about this is getting pushed off of the siege tower. The AI loves to push you off it. miss him I'm never gonna catch him I don't think I am but he's got his shield how do I get over there quickly they won't let me jump down ouch I'm almost gone
They're all fleeing. There, I accomplished my goal. We took it and we didn't have to break the walls. Extremely happy. So now all we have to do is push the three towns and then I want to peace out. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a couple extra castles. There's, there's two castles that I would really like to take. Did I give away the right one? I did. Wait a minute, did I? Yeah, I do. It was that one. Uh, I would really love to take these two castles. That would push them all the way back to here. So it's kind of a tough call. Uh, I would hope my vassals would do it, but they're down here. Uh, as soon as we can get this taken care of, which this actually could go completely off. And this could start building militia. Once this is established and we take care of these two castles, the only way they're going to get through is either here or here. And if my vassals can hold this, I can hold this. And what I could do is back out of here. To use this as bait. But I would like to station some troops in the garrison. Oh, no, that's right. They did this again. I hate it when they do this. All right. What can we put here? Surgeon. It's all high tiers. I don't mind putting youth in here. They're the lowest tier. We'll do one youth and one warrior. That puts 46 in there, and I could take 16. I hate to do it. We'll go with that. So that puts 63 in there. And they're going to get 12 militia a day. So right now they got 63 plus the 12. And they're going to recruit. Phalanx. Field wall. General Clive, Forest Archer, and now I hold this choke point. So now all I have to do is back off right here and sit and wait for them. All I got is minor clans in my party. And hopefully my guys can take care of this. As soon as this is done, I'm going to push to take this and Ox Hall, promote my three guys, peace out, get new companions. That's the objective. But we will find that out in the next episode. As always, my friends, take care and thanks for watching.